Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today and the kind people from Oxum, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but Vince in particular thought that this would be a good a good product to show you guys and honestly after playing with this for a little while I agree. I know I mostly have been covering the uh, Asus ROG Ally but heck the uh, Tears of the Kingdom just came out and a lot of people are looking to kind of play a lot of games. If you're anything like me um, you can't go wrong with a good old cartridge. I know that sometimes they have a little bit better deals, um, and uh, there's always there's always something special about holding on to one of these. So uh, I definitely can uh, relate. I mean, I've got this chocked full already, but I'll show you guys a quick little install and how this product works and give you my initial thoughts and opinions. Um, full disclosure, this was sent out to me, but this is not necessarily a sponsored video. I don't have a partnered link or anything, so... This will be my honest opinion on this uh, product as they gave me full liberty to do so. But really quickly here, let's turn this around. I've got cables reaching around everywhere, but it's a really simple idea. It works on the OLED switch case, uh, and by case, you get what I mean, the dock here. Um, it just grabs it. So you s slide it, line it up. Looks good on either side there. Push that in, and then it needs power, but it just so happens that the USB side here, I mean, that's by not, not by accident by any means, plugs in right there. And pretty much the whole idea, right, is this device allows you to play your uh, hard copies, if you will. I, I'm not entirely sure what they call the actual, is it a cartridge? I, I believe it's just called a cartridge. Um, this allows you to play your cartridges and have them on the go. Um, and what I mean by on the go is literally whenever you want to, to switch between, you press this button here and it will switch through to a, to a different game. So you don't have to worry about, um, and then you just plug that in there like that. It slides in just like any other card. But it allows you to, instead of having to switch out the um, cartridges themselves, have all the cases at the ready, you have up to eight actual cartridges themselves ready. So I'll show you really quickly here before I show you the, the screen there. So this is how it all happens. So I believe at the moment we're on Tears of the Kingdom or uh, Zelda Skyward. I believe it will start here. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't played around with it enough to know which one it will start off on or if it starts off on the one you were playing last, but you press that button, color changes, and the game that it's reading, which I'll show you guys the screen here in a second, actually changes which one it is. These four back here are storage. So you have four slots that you can immediately play out of, which I feel like is plenty enough uh, to kind of switch between that on top of your library that's already installed. I feel like that's a, 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 good, a good balance. Um, for a product that's around $35, $40, I think what this does for the price and the quality of it so far from what I've messed around with is, is really, really nice. Um, and then we'll go to the last color. I personally like the yellow. I wish I could just keep it yellow the whole time. I know it doesn't seem like it, my channel being a lot, like a lot of blue theme. Yellow is my favorite color. But uh, let's go back here to red. Move this over here, show you guys a little bit of the magic. So... There it is right there. You press that button and just like that, it changes. Now I've probably pressed this 80 times, 90 times so far. I've had no issues. I've, I've switched between games, playing games. So you can, you can just click the game, start it right up just like normal. And, and it's really cool, this cable right here. Now keep in mind, right? This doesn't make it look that bad. Like I, that was the, the initial thing when he kind of, when we were talking back and forth about the item is I was like, how will this look actually on the switch itself? But if you were to have this in your living room, I honestly think it looks pretty cool. Especially if you were to have it flipped around the other way to show off like how many game, uh, games you have slotted in there. It's a kind of a power move in my opinion, but I do think that looks really good. Um, let's go ahead and just hit continue. I'll, I'll just swap between a couple games here to give you guys the, uh, the idea. Sorry about the, the glare there. I've 
course, Nintendo not having SSD takes its sweet time. But all in all, there's really not much to say uh, besides the build quality. Because, right, like what this product is, it's not something that is essentially a, a Nintendo Switch. It's not something that will... Uh, that, that you necessarily play on. So there's there's a couple things you need to ask yourself when you're when you're looking at a device like this is does it work how it's intended? Is the price a price that I'm willing to pay for something like this, of course. I mean if, if they were charging eighty dollars, I think we'd be having a lot different of a discussion. I think that the price point we'll go hit that. Not saving because I'm kind of in a bad spot anyways. Yep. Perfect. Oh, I think it does the close first. Hit that. Changes games. Now I've got Zelda, which I've not started that one yet. Going to Metroid Dread. But as I was saying, what this product is, 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 is it's a tool. It's something that is an extension of the device that you already own. So what you're looking for in most of these things, right? Like think about it like a good good hammer, a good pocket knife. You want something that has a nice build quality to it, which I think the plastics that they used in this, and that, that's really all that we can look at. I mean, I'm not going to tear this thing apart to look at the internals, see how it's running. Sorry about that, everyone. My storage got full right there. But right back to what I was saying. So you'd, you'd hope that this is made out of decent materials, and I can con confidently tell you guys that yes, it is. The plastic that this is made out of is built to last. It's, it's not cheaply made. Um, there's a lot of ways that companies can try to skimp out and uh, just really try and push the, the the profit margins. And I feel like Oxum has done a very good job with this product at keeping things very balanced because the the button feels fantastic. The one thing that I really want to stress here is when you're actually pushing games in and out, I shouldn't hold this while it's going, but when you're pushing the games in and out, um, it actually feels just like a Nintendo Switch would. But uh, here, we'll run around here for a second. Oh man, after playing a lot of different platforming games, trying to come back to this is... Uh, Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't even remember any of the buttons. Oh my, can I not jump out of the water? Maybe I'm just, maybe I, maybe I can't just jump out of the water like I thought I want to. Maybe that's how I get out. And you'd think Samus would have like a jet boosters on her feet or something by this point. Okay, so we can mantle there. I'm just trying to show you guys, the games run perfectly fine. As intended, there is no, no lag. There is nothing... If there is any lag, it is uh, just straight from my system, not the actual uh, device here. One thing I will note is it doesn't necessarily have a name. Now, most things that come from Nintendo or whatever, like these massive, massive companies, will have their own individual name. I believe when looking for this on Amazon, it'll be under uh, Nintendo Switch cartridge holder 8-in-1, something, like, something or other. I'll link the actual name of it in the description if this is something that you're interested in and the link as well if that's if that's what you're looking for. Just the direct link to Amazon. Not if I'm not partnered, I'm not uh getting any money from this link. I want you all got all you guys to know that. But yeah, I think overall um and I'm fully aware that the uh stand here was in the video for quite a while there. I I'm very excited to one be receiving and and working with with different companies to to get nicer products out to you guys cuz if you've seen any of my recent videos regarding the situation with the Asus um there's not a lot of support and I think that's where a device like the Nintendo Switch really has an upper hand um as far as that support uh same with the Steam Deck is now that they've been out in the market for a couple years 
developers have really been able to sit back and think, what do I want? What is something that I need out of this device in order to have a good time? And I think this is a perfect example. Um, I have nothing but praises so far. And of course, something that I plan to keep going with you guys and keep up with you is if I do have any issues, I'll reach out to whoever, uh, whatever company sent this to me. I'll see if there's a fix for it or whatever. And I'll keep you guys updated because of course, what comes first is you as the consumer. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing some kind of rating system, but if I had to right now, I cannot think of anything wrong with this product. Like I said, initially, this is a tool. And I think for what this tool does, it executes it perfectly. Um, and th there's really nothing more to be said than that. It's a sleek design. It holds four extra. It, you, it does four. The button press is nice. An LED indicator to tell you where you're at. I think there's not much more you could ask for. And if you wanted more, you're going to start seeing a decline in the actual product itself, um, which I'm sure a lot of you are aware of if you've purchased other devices on Amazon. But thanks again to the team at Alxum. I really appreciate this. And I look forward to if you guys have any other products, I'd love to show them off here. If I think that they're good, I'll let my, uh, my audience know, let the viewers know. But uh, I hope each and every single one of you guys have a fantastic 4th of July. Uh, party on. Peace out, you guys.